Hey everybody, it's Christine and today I'm up for Simple Stories again using the Simple Pages kit from the Main Street Collection. And this includes enough product for you to make four separate pages or two two-page spreads. Um, and really they're meant, it's meant to be two-page spreads that go together, but as you will see as I create, you can definitely do them individually. So I'm giving you just a little bit of a look right now at the stuff that comes in the package. You can see it's all together still. Um, and yesterday I actually did the second part of this kit. Um, so this one, obviously you can see I started with this one, but I chose to premiere the other video first, uh, mostly because I just loved that I could get 15 pictures onto a layout. So if this is, if you're just seeing this one first, be sure to go back to yesterday's video. It's the one right before this one on my channel. Um, and it'll show you the other two page layout that comes in this page kit. So the page kit comes with um, chipboard that does not have adhesive on it and cardstock, which you saw me cutting out or punching out pieces already. And I actually pulled my daughter in and had her help me punch out the rest of them so I didn't have to do all of those on video and waste time. But this gives you a view anyway of what it, what it looks like in the beginning. Now, I pointed out yesterday, I highly recommend that for an adhesive for putting this together, you use a runner that has adhesive dots in it. So I am using the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L easy runner grand and then i they have various refills you can put in that and so i put in the permanent dots refill and what that is is teeny tiny dots and instead of like a strip so it makes it easy to go over like i just did there that really thin strip without having any overlap of the adhesive but it does secure it well um it's just a really useful one for when you're doing detailed stuff. Um, and so like this postal stamp border, perfect for that. I don't have to worry about tucking any adhesive back under and it will go on just right. Um, so it's kind of just a little detail of putting this together that will make it a little easier. Um, you can also see that the patterned paper background already has a lot built into it. So it's got the real, a really great look of layers. And basically we're taking the pieces from this page kit and building the layers up even more. You can see it's got all those traditional um, colors that are perfect for a main street style layout, reds and yellows and blacks. And then that light blue and is mixed in there as well. And they're all a little bit muted. Um, they are not overly saturated colors. So the black is more of a super dark charcoal. It's not like a stark black color. Um, and it especially shows when I put this mouse ear up against the black border there you can see that it's a little bit more muted and i like that i like that it's not overly bright and saturated um it you know just it it calms everything down a little bit and that's just kind of simple story style anyway they tend to have a more muted approach while still being very colorful with things now Right now I am adding a photo mat. The photo mats do not come in the page kit. So all the white that you see on all four pages that I did, I cut that out myself. But really that's the only thing um, you have to add if that's your thing. You could just put the pictures on there totally straight, but I love photo mats. So um, I opted for that. And it tells you exactly where to put it, like how far to measure, um, etc. And so that's what you see me doing right here. I'm trying to measure and then get it on there straight. And really, you know, you don't have to be exactly perfect. I, I just kind of looked at the picture and tried to get it as close to it as I could. Now, one thing that's really nice about this specific page set is the red base has grid lines on it. So that makes it so easy to get things on there straight. And you obviously can't see that on video, um, but 
definite bonus there. Just a really, and I, you know, beyond the fact that it makes it straight, it just makes the paper more interesting and the look more interesting than just straight up plain. Um, I love monochromatic, simple designs that allow you to add some texture and interest to the layout without um, being too busy. So, so there's that. Now I'm adding on some chipboard right now. And one thing I'm being careful to do because this piece overlaps my picture, I'm trying not to get adhesive where the picture will go. And um, you'll see me doing that throughout. Same with the photo corners. I'm trying not to get adhesive where my photo is gonna go simply because I wanna be able to tuck my photo in. Now, most people are probably putting the photos on right now. Whereas I'm creating it just so you can see the actual layout before I add the photos on in a little bit. So that's just kind of different. But if you're looking at it going, how are you going to put the pictures on? I'm trying to be really careful about getting it <laughs> so that I can easily tuck my photos in in a little bit. And you will see the end product with the photos in there in a little bit. Now, while the other layout that came in this kit, I loved because it got 15 photos on to it. I love this layout as well because I love those big mouse ears. There is something about a big element on a layout that my eye is always drawn to. And if you follow me here at my channel a lot, you'll notice that I tend to do a big element on a layout, whether it's a big circle or something else. I very regularly have those on my layouts that was definitely a win for me. Now, another nice aspect to this is if you're someone who struggles with design, um, if you're someone who struggles with balance, if you're someone who struggles with creating clusters, there's a lot of things that go into these page kits that will help you learn and think about those things because they're perfectly designed they're perfectly balanced they have clusters they have layers they have all these things that maybe maybe is a struggle for you and will help you a little bit you know practicing those kinds of things um just like when you watch youtube videos and you're like oh that's how you do that um i think kits like this are really great for that kind of thing and where that's not what I was looking for specifically from this kit. I definitely want to encourage you as viewers that if it is something that you find you struggle with, this might be something good to try out for yourself. I also want to point out that if you're looking at it and going, yeah, that's great, but I want to design my own thing or I want to be more creative. One of the things that I did with this is I picked out a few additional products from the collection and I added my own touch to certain parts of the layout. Now, not a lot, but just little bits here and there. And you will see that come together after I finish this initial base part. But I really wanted to showcase what it looks like itself um, before I put the Christine stuff on. Um, but definitely don't feel like this locks up your creativity at all. I think really, if anything, it's gonna free up some creativity. And I talk a lot about that in the video from yesterday, how it allows some extra time to do some more tedious stuff like stitching, which I'm also going to be doing on this. Just because you take the creative energy that you would have put into designing the whole layout um, out of it. And so you save some time there and it allows for you to take that creativity and do more or start another layout, whatever. <laughs> um, now, all that said, there is a whole gigantic Main Street collection available, and I will link you to that down below. So far beyond just these simple pages, there is a whole set of pattern papers and every embellishment you could possibly want. Um, and so if you just want to go your own creative direction, that is obviously also available and lots of stuff on the Simple Stories blog and on the Instagram feed and Facebook with ideas for how to use it. The designers have been using it quite a bit in the last month. So now I'm gonna start to work on the second page here and I actually ran into some uh, technological difficulties. So I don't get a lot of the actual putting it on there on video for you, but I will get a little bit of it. And um, so we'll, we'll make do and I'll point out what I added 
once we get to that point. So right now I'm just adding on those border stickers, um, or not stickers, but border pieces that I made stickers. <laughs> um, and I love the separation and added pop of color that they provide there. Um, and they will line up perfectly with the other side. As you can see in the picture on the right hand side there, um, the borders go all the way across, which is always a nice look on a two page layout because it just unifies the whole thing. Um, another nice aspect is that there's always a, there's a journaling spot for both sets of layouts. And so I like that that's built in. So now here we're jumping ahead a little bit. You can see I've added the journaling spot. I've added some embellishments. I've added where my pictures are going to go right now. I'm adding this big castle on. And like I said, the clusters on this are great because they mix and match chipboard and the cardstock pieces and it just gives you a feel for how to put together a cluster that is eye pleasing but not overwhelming and so that nothing gets buried. I like the chipboard because it provides some extra dimension. Um, it does need adhesive on it so I'm using a combination of both adhesive dots which you see the box of on the left hand side there as well as just my runner to put those on there. Now, I'm gonna get my pictures on there and give you a view of what the pictures look like. For this one, and really for all two page layouts, I like to stick to a specific theme or I have to change up my pictures. So for this, I specifically did pictures for my third son, third born son, um, and these are all pictures of his first trip to the park. And so I, they, they were all pretty close in color, although not perfect. I really like the lighting to be similar. Um, it is what it is. They still, at least like I'm in all of them. I've got my red shirt in all of them. And that brings it together. Um, if I couldn't have unified the color enough in these, I would have turned them all to black and white so that the layout is very cohesive. Um, and that's just a personal preference. Like I like to keep it telling the same story and not have too many things going on that are distracting because even if you're able to focus on the pictures, if there's so many pictures and there's so many different colors going on, I feel like the whole thing just gets lost. Um, and so, with both this layout and the one from yesterday, I try really hard to, I, I spent a lot of time figuring out which pictures to use for the layouts to tell this story in a the most beautiful way I could. Um, right now you can see I am playing with extra embellishments. So you can see that I added some enamel dots on there. Not loving the look, I'm gonna move them. <laughs> um, but that is one added element that I brought in. Um, I also am going to bring in some bits and pieces, which are similar to the cardstock that I've already got going on, but some extra stuff. And I'm also going to bring in some of the foam stickers, which I just, I love the foam sticker additions that have become a part of Simple Stories collections this year. Um, definitely one of my favorite new products. Uh, I like the texture that they have. I like the height that they add. There's just something about them that I really enjoy. And I find they're one of the first embellishments I look to use on my layouts. So I had those to use on this. It's just an added detail. Now, again, you don't have to add any of this stuff. But if you do want to take it another step further in creativity, you definitely can. Now, you can see I've also added my journaling. And so I'm decorating that journaling spot a little bit more. So now you can see I'm shifting my enamel dots around. They just were a little bit, I don't know, it just wasn't working. <laughs> so I'm going to just shift them and put them more randomly around my different clusters to add just a little punch of color and texture to the whole thing. My final step is going to be to add some stitching. As I did yesterday, I love to hand stitch, but I don't always have time. Um, you, you don't always have 
four hours or something to commit to a layout. So in this case, because I was able to eliminate some hours <laughs> in the creative part, I am gonna go ahead and add some more stitching. And where I'm gonna add it today is I'm going to put it around the big mouse ears because I just think it's just crying out to have some stitching there. So I'm gonna just poke some holes and then I will add a simple white back stitch all the way around. Won't take me too long. And, and like I mentioned yesterday, when I'm doing that, I like to just grab it and go sit and turn on Netflix and watch something on, on TV for a little while. So there you have it. These are the simple pages, brand new product from Simple Stories. Be sure to head to their blog to check out all the close-ups and let me know if you have any questions. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will see you again tomorrow with another new video.